Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. And this video will be in response to a comment that was made on a previous video that I made, um, which was Beginner's Guide and it was looking at the copy, cut, paste and select and this was, was like a part two of one I'd made before that. And one of the comments down here was by someone, I'm guessing it's pronounced Flo, 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 I can't pronounce that. Um, but basically he says, now that the copy and paste is done, could you work with one that is not in a circle and show how you would show the background instead of the white area around the subject? And then do the same with the circle and add a border to that circle. I'm trying to find a simple and quick way to do this as I do a lot of composites but don't have a good way to do it do what I want yet within affinity. Now to be 100% certain I wasn't 100% certain what he was talking about or what he wanted me to try and work out. I did ask for him to give me an example of what he meant but I haven't had an answer yet but I have been sort of tinkering and I've come up with what I'm hoping is the answer to his question but as I'm not 100% certain what he's asking I may be miles away but it is something that I have now learned myself and so I can pass that on to you even if it doesn't answer his question so I'll go back to Affinity Photo and I've just made a new A4 document and I've not done anything else with it yet. But the first thing I will say before we go any further is that we just need to make a keyboard shortcut because it's not available as Affinity Photo stands at the moment and that is to reselect something. You can deselect something by pressing Ctrl and D at the present moment in time but you cannot reselect something. So if you come up to the edit menu, down to preferences, and onto keyboard shortcuts, and then where it's got file at the moment, if you click on that, come down to select, you will have the options here. And as you can see, that deselect is control and D. But reselect has no option at the moment. So I'm going to make an option for that quite why they haven't made one I really don't understand but so I'm just going to click in there and seeing as control and D is already taken I'm going to use alt and D and then close so now I can make it bring back a selection that I made earlier so what I'm going to do now first is I'm going to make a new pixel layer and then I'm going to make another one. You don't need to do this, I'm just going to show you two different ways of doing something and I'm just going to do it on two different levels rather than keep going back to the start and what have you. So I will just first of all recap what sort of went on in the previous videos which is about putting an image into a shape. So let me just fill this layer with a colour. Um, just pick any old colour. There we go, an orange like that. So what I want to do now is to just draw a shape. And it could be a rectangle, a circle, or whatever shape, but I'm going to stick with the rectangle just for easiness here. And I will not you um, have to, but I'm going to just change the colour over to black just so it's easily visible. So I have this shape here. And what I'm going to do is now just paste in an image into that. And I'm going to use this image that um, Martin Mackay 
let me so I could do his montage video which I released yesterday um, but I'll just select all come to edit copy come back to this image with the box still highlighted and then come to edit and then paste inside now that image is obviously too big for the hole there but I'll just come to the move tool hold down the control key and then it's just a case of tinkering with, with the size so it fits that, that hole there so that is basically what was in the first video that that gentleman um, commented on and wanted something slightly different um, now because these two items are linked the square and the background you know, if you move one you move both but if you just want to just alter the background position you just need to highlight the the one underneath so the box stays in place now if you wanted to put a board around this we just need to make a selection of this um, and just to make sure that we are going to be quite close and to the actual size I'm just going to zoom in so we can see it and I'm going to come to the marquee square marquee selection tool and I'm going to come right to the corner there and down to the corner there so that is now selected and then come to the select menu and a lot of these are blanked out normally once you've, once you've made a selection one of those is outline now at the moment it's set to zero so you can't actually see anything but if I raise this up you can see a selection area is now coming around the outside and because it's set on center it is sort of giving you the outline that was here is now the center of these two lines if I put this on outside those two lines will start from the outside and go outwards which is like the effect that I'm going to be after so I'm just going to reduce the size down slightly click apply and that selection area will stay in place like that now so if I come to the brush tool and make black the foreground color now when I paint over that area it will only affect the selected area everything outside the selected area is protected just make sure that everything's okay and then I'll just press Control and D to lose that selection come off that tool so I don't make a mistake press Control and 0 to zoom out and there you have a sort of cut out with the tiger and a border so that's one way of doing that so what I would do now is I will hide these three layers um, that one. and then come back to this first layer as though this was a new project and I could make this a color like I did before but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this texture just to show you that you are not restricted to you know a fill color you could use a texture or whatever you want so I've done select select all edit copy come back to here and then edit paste come to the move tool so I can resize if I want um, 
Let's see if I find a texture that might be a bit. Yeah, so I'll leave it like that. And what I would do is I would just highlight this bottom blank layer and then come to the, back to this image of the tiger. Again, select all, edit, copy, come back to the project we're working on and because that is highlighted when I paste this in it should come just above it uh, edit paste and I'm going to move this down and you can't see it because if I mean if I hide this one it should be visible so I'll just press control and one of the corner nodes and I'll just place it there for now but I'm, I don't want to necessarily see it at the moment because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another marquee selection and I'll just do it roughly like that now with the marquee selection what I have selected Everything inside is being selected, not the outside. Now, if I understand the gentleman's request in the video that from before, he wants to select the outside and leave the inside, or remove the inside, I should say, rather than removing the outside. Um, now, you can do this by going to the Select menu and coming down to invert pixel selection or it's control shift and i and although that's a fairly subtle change that box is still the same but now the there is also an extra selection line around the outside of the document so that now means that all of this outside of this area here is selected so all you've really needed now is make sure that the background or in my case the texture is the layer that is selected and then add a layer mask and then that layer mask will use this selection that you got here to take away the middle of that selection so if I now press ctrl and D to get rid of that selected area I can come back down to the tiger image and highlight that come to the move tool and then it's much pretty much the same as before in pressing the control key and resizing so that fits into that shape and it's not quite right just make this a little bit bigger that way I think it's not perfect fit I mean because I've I just sort of did a guesswork on the size um, but you get the idea of how that works so if I I now want to sort of reselect this area again if I click on the layer mask of that layer and press the Alt and D, that selection area will come back. And I can now invert the selection again. So now that only that is selected. Let me just come off of the Move tool to get rid of the other bounding box. So that now only this area is selected and then I can come to the select and then the outline option again and this time I'll move it inside and outside of the image click apply come to the brush tool black is still selected oh, hang on Control and Z, 
what I should have done, I was painting black onto a layer mask which will bring back the image. What I need to be painting on is the overall image. So just paint the black and it will, although it is selected on the inside as well as the outside of the image, it is only painting on the outside area. So I've just pressed Control and D to lose the selecting area. And if I wanted, I could bring back losing that that one there. So you got that twice, but done in two different ways. Once I pasted inside to an, an object, and the other one I made the square, and then removed the center of that square. Like I said, um, it probably doesn't answer what the gentleman was after, but it is something new that I have learned and hopefully that you will use in some of your projects. So thank you for watching and goodbye.